Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing great. Celebrating 400 subscribers. Like, subscribe, bell button. If you guys want to support us, our now next goal is 500 subscribers. And we really appreciate all those that have supported us and the channel of sailing ships, shooting ships, and having a blast when bringing the community together. And again, we can't thank you enough for helping us out and just having a blast doing it as well. So to celebrate, what better way to do it than with the Ragnar? I think one of my favorite DDs now, right next to the small one. This is the Big Brother small if you want to call it that I mean, it essentially does the same thing it just doesn't have torpedoes but it makes up for it for health as you notice the build on the, the beginning of the screen there we have 30,000 health build here we have extra hills we have fast firing guns and we have concealment radar extended radar and then just making this thing a beast to deal with and here is our first victim right here the ZF-6, which I thought was really great back in the day. Actually, you know, the tier nine destroyer with a, you know, a reload booster, it's like, you see he's using it right now, but it just can't compete with the amount of firepower the, um, you know, the Ragnar brings. I mean, I'm taking 2,600 health off of him and bam, we get slapped in the face about the Slava there, I believe. I don't know where that shot came from, but I think it was the Slava with its accurate rail guns. And you notice it took like literally half our health. That's why these, heels come in so handily but we pop the radar and obviously discover the zf6 right there and now we have our you know good thing we have the yo yang in the area because he has radar and there he pops it as well another radar destroyer again this is just too much overpowering uh fire power and threats for anybody to handle two destroyers that have radar eliminates the zf6 and we say well done to each other way to go we cap alpha uh, section right here and now we're basically working our way to figure out what other victims can we deal with now I'm not gonna pick a fight with the Yamato and Slava there because we already got slapped once it seems nowadays I feel like the guns on these battleships are super accurate because I'm getting nailed left and right even in a destroyer I mean I'm, I'm angling I'm slowing down I'm juking and everything but these shells are just connecting either people are watching videos and getting really good at aiming or I'm just really bad at dodging for the, the, lately these days because it seems it seems like no matter what I do I'm just getting slapped with full broadsides from battleships even with juking and slowing down and turning it just seems to not be working in my favor uh, I feel like the guns are getting more accurate anyways uh, we find at least wait until, again, tactic here is wait for uh, other battleships like the Slav and Yamato to go behind islands, lose that line of sight, which helps you out a lot. Using islands to fire from cover, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm shooting at the Vermont, which is a tier 10 slow, slow battleship, so I know I can farm him to death. And we're pretty much going to get into range. Now, I didn't build the range mod on the Ragnar in this video uh, before I could get it out to 15 kilometers. But I see like 13 kilometers is actually pretty decent because most engagements, even at 14 and a half, 15 kilometers are very rare. And the Ragnar, you kind of want with this gun build, more rapid firing guns. I kind of want to get a little bit closer uh, to just to maximize what I'm hitting at. The dispersion and everything's great, but I want to really get, and like I, you saw earlier with that destroyer engagement, really close in and really taking the fight to the enemy. And right now, look, your 12.2 is still a decent range for uh, shooting a battleship right now. And it seems to be working pretty well. I mean, I'm hitting, uh, you know, the shot's pretty good. It just sometimes it doesn't hit the armor sections I can I can penetrate. Um, it's hitting more of those, you know, heavily uh, armored sections of the ship where it don't really do much alpha damage but start fires, which, by the way, the Ragnar starts a lot of fires. You're going to see a lot of fires being started today. And they really come in handy when it's dealing with these big behemoth of a battleships. But it's also, man, a destroyer take on a battleship, it seems kind of overpowered in my opinion. I mean, if I can take on a battleship one-on-one, -on -one, something's a little off here. But it's fun, though. <laughs> Even though, you know, you say it's off, uh, you know, but it, it's still a blast to do. The fact that a destroyer can take on a battleship. But I digress. Looks like we are five minutes into the game right now. We are kind of like a, at a loss of ships here. We're one ship down compared to theirs. Uh, we are also working our way to hopefully contest Alpha Cap, but right now we're waiting to not get spotted. And we'll see what other battleships we can eliminate to help out our team. So we're noticing that Charlie Cap is getting overrun. So my, my thought right here is this. The tactic is look at the minimap, figure out where you're needed. Well, let me figure out what can I do to get my team at A, you know, go help B and C. Well, the easy sol uh, solution answer is to kill everything you can at Alpha that forces players to go, there's nothing over here, let's go help the other section of our team that needs really 
uh, the help. I don't know how that Slava was able to shoot me and not see, while not seeing me or being spotted, so I'm really curious how he's able to shoot and get a shot off on me. Uh, must be some kind of new mechanic or something, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, um, he shot and hit me, a blind fire. That's incredible for the distance he's at right now. And right now we are going to go ahead and back away, support Bravo Cap, but also see if we can take down a battleship or two while they're over here. I elect not to shoot the Slava because, again, I don't want to be spotted by him and he's got rail guns. But the Yamato looks a little bit more tastier, so the Yamato is going to pop up around this island um, behind on my uh, back left side here. We are going to wait and see if he comes back out. Uh, and again, we're going to continue uh, rolling around. Again, if you guys uh, haven't noticed right now, the Ragnar is one of my favorite small and big brother kind of uh, destroyers. Uh, it's got everything a small one has except for torpedoes. It's got the heals, the radar, and the speed boost, which is really, really awesome when it comes to gunfights. And you know me, I'm a destroyer gunboat kind of guy, and I really enjoy doing that. And now we're spotted again, and gunboats love taking on battleships. I'm telling you, we farm them to death. We also have to keep in mind that the northwest uh, section of the map, there is a Harugamo there. Now, I mean, our team is pinging, and there he is. He pops up on the map right there while I'm shooting. I'm like, that's my next target. I gotta get rid of this Yamato super fast, otherwise a cap will fold. So we gotta eliminate one at a time here. So we gotta pick one. Again, the strategy here is pick a target, stick with it, and eliminate it. You focus on one, get it out of the game, and then move on to the next one. That's the strategy, and usually instead of like trying to manage five different things at once. Boom, great torpedoes for the Yu Yang. He's got those deep water torpedoes that help out really good against destroy, uh, you know, sorry, cruisers and battleships. And we eliminate the Yamato. And watch this, our team starts moving towards Bravo and Charlie Cap to help them out. We have to go eliminate this Rugam who's firing in smoke. We have to help him out first. But then again, Bravo Cap, I just noticed on Minimap, again, this is great situational awareness to know Bravo Cap is being contested right now. Again, we are in the lead, but right now if they take Bravo Cap and they have a ship lead, uh, I guess you could say they're about to have a ship lead. If we lose another ship and a cap, we start losing the game. So I'm going to support the Jutlar now. He's the closest companion I have, and we, he's got Hydro. I know that. Again, it's great to know what other destroyers, uh, weapon systems they have to help assist you in taking a, an objective. So what we're going to do right now is support the Jutland. I always support this tactic and style of gameplay is to support your teammates. We are a team game. I think a lot of people forget that this is a team game that allows you to not only uh, express tactics, but also use cooperation to maximize firepower. Two is better than one. I mean, one destroyer cannot handle two at the same time. It's just, I'm telling you, it's just almost logistically impossible. Unless that the you know the story is just so good and we don't we just miss every single shot and everything, the odds of you uh, winning in an engagement is a lot better against two against one. It's better to have an advantage than not. So again, you're going to see this team uh, gameplay right here where he activates hydro and I have radar ready to go. So he, the small enough he's about to come in our field of view is probably going to have to make a decision. He's got to shoot one or the other. He can't shoot two at once. One advantage right there, and then we have more guns on him, more DPM on him as well. So look at that, we're firing right there. Jutland is hopefully going to shoot back, but I don't think the small one, although rapid firing guns, cannot absorb the damage of 2700 right there. Salvos and one more shot. Boom! RIP back to 40, and small one is down, although I appreciate the small one. I love that destroyer. Uh, we are just a little bit bigger brother, and we picked on him. So. I elect not to fire at Bravo Cap right now, reason being, there's too many ships right there shoot, looking at me, I have no cover, all my battleships are in the back, while we have two destroyers in the back as well, and we don't want to give away our position. Another tactic is, keep the element of surprise, because if a destroyer is not paying attention, he won't even know where you're at as well, and that gives you the advantage to sneak up on him. I have my radar right now, it's cooling down at 142. We've already popped our radar for the small end, now I have to think about what's my inventory. I have one more radar to spot this Harugamo. The Harugamo is obviously going to be in the northwest, I elect to chase him, while the other Tashant, whatever that destroyer's name is in the northeast, is running away, so I'm not going to waste time and um, dealing with him. I'll come back to him later, but it looks like my Jutland will also contest with him, so I elect to tell my team, hey, I'm going to Harugamo, he's almost dead. A couple shots from our guns, which are 152 millimeter guns. They're awesome at destroying DDs. Amazing against cruisers that pin up to about, I believe, 30 plus millimeters. So most cruisers out here are going to get pinned uh, by me. And also great at starring fighters for, uh, fires for battleships. So again, uh, knowing your weapon systems is a great advantage and tactic to have. Rugamo 
giving away his position, not the greatest thing, but he's got to do what he's got to do to start, you know, getting the game over with. Now, we are at a six-on-six six ship a game. We still have the lead about 60-ish points ahead with eight minutes and 30 seconds left. Awesome job on the battleships firing on the Hurugamo. Great shot. See, I'm telling you, there's some kind of thing that's going on that allows these guys, these battleships, to be able to hit destroyers at range nowadays. I don't know what it is. Either the aiming bot's better, the RNG's better, whatever it is. But, man, we are, as a destroyer player, we are getting hit pretty well from battleships. I digress. Anyways, we're going to go straight at the Harugamo. Um, I'm going to use the advantage and tactic of as soon as I get spotted, which is 7.5 concealment, which as soon as he enters that range, my radar is also at 7.5. So as soon as I get detected, you see the exclamation mark pop up. I'm going to hit the, the uh, radar button. Boom, he comes up on radar. Last 36 seconds, so it's going to be pretty rough for him. And then I'm going to start firing on him as soon as it there he goes. Uh, detected right there. Pop the radar. He's spotted. Front gun only, ladies and gentlemen. One shot from downtown. Boom. RIP back to 40. Harugamo is out. That is one destroyer less they have to worry about. Tashin also takes out, I'm sorry, the Jutland also takes out the Tashin, the Tashin earlier. And great job on our destroyer team play. Again, the wolf pack working together is always an advantage to work together as DDs, to hunt together as DDs, and that gives you the advantage. Now the other team has no DDs, no destroyers to help spot, no destroyers to help with torpedoes, and essentially they're just being big boats to farm. As you can tell, the Republic's taking fire from all directions and also has to contend with us. So again, if you haven't seen my reviews on the Ragnar, check out my videos. Uh, I really, I think this ship is awesome, but almost overpowered. Uh, the fact that what you just saw right there, me being able to use not only my 30,000 HP armor, which is cruiser level armor, the also that I have uh, 21 millimeter plating on the side, which deflects and shatters most HE shells. Like you saw earlier, the small one was firing as many DPM shells as he could at me. Didn't really pack much of a punch against me because a lot of them were shattering. He had to aim on the little slivers of my boat they're a little higher to get any kind of damage and then here you go you're gonna see not only i use stealth radar but also long distance shooting of 152 millimeter cruiser guns these are essentially like rooster guns where i'm firing on a republic from distance and i'm gonna start a fire i'm gonna take damage you notice there's one fire right there taking 726 damage per shot i got the reload down to at least 2.1 seconds with adrenaline rush fearless brawler activated and you literally have a mini cruiser to deal with, and it's essentially almost, like I said, if their aiming is bad, hitting me from distance is pretty hard. We are a big crew, uh, destroyer, but again, firing from distance is somewhat difficult at times. But look at that. That firepower right there is what really helps and wins the game, and you're a destroyer. You're a destroyer. The, the ability for you to spot, uh, also go out and detect other and hunt other DDs is a crucial, crucial component. That's why I think DDs are, I would say, the most... Um, most of the time are the key factor in a game because you outspot everything. If you can't if you can't be seen, you're pretty much really effective and not only let, as a destroyer player, either launching torps, shooting guns, or spotting for the other team to allow your battleships to shoot. A destroyer, I think, is the key component player of the game, even better than submarines, I would say, because the fact that you can use a lot of the skills available to you to assist in the outcome of an engagement. I mean, just like right now, Slava, he can't do nothing to me right now other than just maybe get spotted once in a second, but I'm spotting him the whole time. I'm also putting fire on him while undetected, starting fires on him, causing him to have to maneuver while I'm just sitting here farming. I mean, I'm not really doing much to outmaneuver him. Again, the destroyer player tactics are really, really important. That's why I focus on that. I show a lot of videos doing it. I know a lot of you guys uh, really support the fact that I'm one of the few destroyer players out there that like to focus on destroyer gameplay, giving tactics and also techniques and procedures to allow yourself to have a better game. So right now you're notice as a destroyer, my concealment's lower than a battleship or a cruiser, obviously, so I can go in and cap uh, Bravo. Now we are at disadvantage, but I'm not afraid. There are no more destroyers anymore. So me not having a radar to spot destroyers is not the end of the world, so I elect to go in and cap Bravo. We are going to push in and watch this. We're going to take on an FDG by ourselves. Now, that's an unheard of and scary, the fact that a destroyer can do that. Uh, if I was about a ship, I would be like, holy crap, I'm getting charged by a destroyer, which is pretty fun and awesome at the same time. Fearless Brawler is active right now because I'm spotted. And once I'm spotted right here at the FDG, and watch us uh, get these guns going. 2.4 re uh, reload right now, but once the Fearless Brawler kicks in, we get it down to 2.1. And every two and a half, one, two seconds, you're essentially getting these ridiculous 
cruiser-like guns firing and getting fire started. And look, 1,400 damage every shot on the superstructure. This is insane. He's at 13,000, 12,000, 11,000. It's like, oh my gosh, why am I dying so fast? And the Yoyang, again, working as a team. Destroyers working together equals maximum firepower and output. So we got it right there. This game is pretty much one. 76,000 damage, two kills with three minutes left in the game. It looks like we got this one in the bag and we're capping Bravo at the same time. But again, that's Ragnar gameplay. We are above 400 subscribers. Thank you guys for getting us to our goal. Our next goal now is 500 subscribers. We're on our way, growing the channel to our, our eventual goal of 1,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. But again, appreciate all the uh, con uh, constructive criticisms, comments, likes, concerns, everything. Please send them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share, and appreciate all the support. Again, you guys, uh, we just uh, couldn't thank you enough. We're having a blast doing this. And until then, we'll uh, talk to you guys soon, making more videos, and uh, coming up with more awesome gameplay and tactics for you guys to enjoy as well, learn something from. So be safe. Until then, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.